In this episode of 3x7 Outdoor, we have drive shaft madness. Oh, it's getting crazy. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring that bell so you do not miss any of our new uploads. Anyway, all of our drive shafts are broken. Just nuts. There's like one drive shaft on each vehicle. We've never driven this. There's no reason for this one to be broke, but it's broke. We've never driven this. And well, we've it's driven it. We took it to the pumpkin patch. We but drove it on pavement. We've never driven this on anything except flat ground, and there is a broken drive shaft somehow. And we've got one under here somewhere. Yeah. This has a center drive shaft broke and an output shaft broke. This slash down here has an output shaft broke. Haas. Has it's always output got output shaft. shafts broke. Have, do you own one? Have you not had a drive shaft break on these things? If you haven't, then you're then you're not driving a it. rare being. Same thing with the sledge. So let's get into it. Did you know that a drag slash is now two hundred ninety nine dollars, and you can buy two for four ninety nine? So that is a really good deal. We got ours for more than four ninety nine. Yeah. So I think it was over 500 if I remember right. If we sold that one for the price we got it for, we could buy more than two drag slashes. Oh, wait, you got the Hot Wheels car on there. Look at that. That's a that's, nice That's Hot pretty wheel. hot. No. See, so watch this epic trick. Oh. It's like a tech deck. It's like a fingerboard. And he died. So I have a few extra goodies in mind. With the Haas, needs a servo. I got just a regular 2075X and I got a metal servo horn that we had on the wall that I think will fit. And we also have a heat sink over there. 3458 is the heat sink number. could go on here. We don't have a fan today, but we could just get things started with that. And we've got a front drive shaft 6851A. This is the extreme heavy duty. So you better get busy. We got some loose screws here and a, a missing wheel. Where's the wheel for it? This is the 2075X Servo 8947X. We have the heat sink. Could it be that just, just the servo is fried? Or the servo horn, the plastic servo horn? We should look at that first. That's what it seems like. All right, so as you can see, it's on right now and it is making a really weird noise. You wanna turn the servo? Here we go. Not doing anything. It's Sorry. trying to go, but it's not doing anything. Okay, I got a 1985 nylon washer that will go on first onto your stub axle, and then a pin right there like that. And we've got this sweet little tool that Jaden came up with to just pop it over. Slide that on. Ooh, that went on with no click. Just sits right on there. Here, this screw constantly vibrates out all the time. But does anybody know how to make this stay in better? She's all purdy again. How's it going over here? Just wrapping this. Best pack ever. Wrap it around your bit. Wow. Now it's all coiled up and it's not Sweet. Fast boat done. I guess I'll start on the Mercedes. I turned it off because it was just sitting there. That's a great working servo. We're going to make sure the steering trim is in the middle, as right now it's all the way to the right. Yeah, that's a problem. I need this handle. That looks, that looks centered. Now we're going to put the servo horn on and I've seen people take it and just be like, all right, now it's on, right? No, it's not technically because you have to center the wheels too or else you won't have good <laughs> steering at all. We got steering, but we don't have four wheel drive, so let's fix that. 6852A. We're not much of crawler guys, but we will do more crawler content if you want us to, so comment down below. Here we go, let, let's see, let's see. Uh, the wheel, don't worry about the wheel wobble. I mean, there's basically none. 
Wow. There's basically none. But anyway. There it is, you gotta stir it up. Food grade zinc powder mixed motor with oil. motor oil. Oh. oh my gosh. Too much. Flop around there. You can see that heat sink paste oozing out just to make it look perfect but it looks pretty nice anyway let's get to the next car sledge i'm sorry to tell you but if you can't figure out what's wrong then like hmm something wrong there yeah this i is think normal. this is not maybe uh part 9950 if you are concerned with those part numbers Fifty. It's gonna go right on here. Let's bust it off. What'd you do with that 1.5? Put it right where. It it's on. You put it under the other tire. Well, I, it I'm putting it over here so they don't get lost. Well, that tire's off. So you can just save that old one. So this is what happened to that. You can see. Should it should look like that, but it doesn't work out. Okay, we're good on this. We're moving right along on the 6x6, six six, I'll tell you that. Turn one wheel and all of them are gone. That's what we want. The Mercedes is back. If you get a sledge, go ahead and get yourself some nuts with the siped edges on them. Throw them away. Take them off and throw them away. Throw them in the sea and put these on. Be better. They're probably not in focus, but we Nice. Going. All right, so we realized the video's getting a little boring. It's just fixing stuff, so he's gonna fix the drive shafts on here. I'm gonna fix the tow link on here because it got like smashed in. And we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I thought maybe something was wrong with the rustler, but it's not. But it was just the tow link and it was like all smashed in but now it works so good that i actually like it again like I, I had a point where i just didn't like it because it was so like like uncontrollably loose and wobbly but now it's like it actually feels like really good i discovered another part's broken it's like the uh, stabilizer that goes from one wheel to the other. The wire broke, so I'm gonna have to get that part before we can drive this again. It's bent pretty bad on this side, but the wheel can go back together. I got the drive shaft in. Well guys, thank you for watching this video. We had a good time fixing all this stuff today, didn't we? Sure did. We finally drove this because it's able to drive now sledge is working udr is working so is the mercedes and the rustler 4x4 i love this thing more than ever now because it is like it's stable it used to be mm -hmm. all over the place but now it's stable it even drives backwards in a straight line some cars that's nice they'll go like this mm -hmm. and drive backwards like stock even yep but it's all working now I'm glad it is and this guy's still a star of the show. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell. What are you doing if you haven't? This is a great channel. If you're new to the channel, go check out some other videos. Yep. But if you want to make it official, then welcome to the family. Sign up, leave a comment. And if you got any ideas that you want to see us do. Mm -hmm. And share it read. all with your friends. We do it, we read them. Yeah. Anyway guys, hope you liked that video and we hope we'll see you next week in the next video. 3 by 7 Outdoors signing out. Bye for now. See, it's like the half. I charged a bunch of batteries. Still recording. Hi.